Hi, I'm Kent, and I have a question. Do you joke about death? I remember the first time I heard a truly morbid joke. There's something disorienting about it, because death is a serious thing, and usually people try to be respectful about it. Why this respect? Hopefully, and very reasonably, the respect comes out of a sincere love for those who have lost someone. It would be unkind to joke about their grief, so, you know, don't. That being said, today we're going to talk a lot about the idea that death itself is a joke. Not a laughing matter, but a total joke. If Jesus has truly died and risen again, and if he can share that resurrection with everyone who believes in him, Everything that makes death so serious and permanent becomes, at most, incredibly temporary and minor. There's a tension in the idea that death is a joke, of course, and it comes from that respect that we mentioned earlier. The goal of this spotlight is not disrespect toward people, grief, or loss. Respect the person. Value their heart. Meet them in their need. But death itself? Death doesn't deserve nearly as much respect as it gets. As it happens, most of the threats death claims to hold against people aren't truly even the work of death. That, of course, leads to another tension in the discussion today. If you're going to disrespect death, you'll sound a lot different than most of the people around you. Fear of death defines a lot of people and the choices they make. Hopefully for you, this spotlight will help you love them too by showing them the difference between running from dying and pursuing being alive. Something that, frankly, becomes much, much easier once you understand the eternal life Jesus offers. So, with all that in mind, let me pray for you and you can get this spotlight started. Lord, Help those who engage with this spotlight content to develop a healthy disrespect for death while still loving those who have died and those who have lost someone. When the devil tries to use the fear of death to paralyze or distract us, remind us of Jesus' resurrection, empty death of its threats, and help us live triumphantly. Perhaps most of all, Give us opportunities to share that triumphant living with people who still live with an unhealthy fear of death by sharing your very life with them. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.